Hey guys, Jason Castle here, BassBoatElectronics.com, finishing up on a customer's boat. Wanted to go over how you actually set up this bad boy right here. This is an external GPS antenna from Humminbird. So what's critical about this is this gives you your heading so your map won't spin when the boat's sitting still. It always knows where the uh, boat is stationed. And it also gives you great GPS reception. So when you have multiple units, you have to actually source that in the menu settings. So I'm gonna show you how you do that. I've already gone ahead and done three of the units, but I wanna go ahead and show you how you do it on this last one. Customer also has heading sensor in the back of the boat as well. So external GPS antenna and heading gives it a little bit more accurate. On some model boats, you can mount them court towards the back of the boat. You don't want them three feet within the motor for magnetic interference. And since there is a compass in here, it is sensitive to any um, ferrous metal. So you wanna be aware of that. So anything that a magnet can stick to, so like this pole, if this hardware was ferrous, this would actually give some deviation. Any metal hardware, so when you place these antennas, that's to be um, a point of emphasis. I can tell you, um, I've had in the past that cleats, necessarily the cleats won't be ferrous, but the actual hardware they use will be. Same thing with anchor lights. So that's sometimes a tedious deal on installing but let me walk up here to the front. Again, I've already got the console dialed in, but how you set this as a source when everything's networked together, let me show you how you do it. So when you're on the main home screen in the Solix unit, you're gonna go to settings. And then from there, you're gonna go down here to network. So in the network option, we're gonna hit data sources. And then right here, these are the three things you wanna pay attention to. GPS one, GPS two, and heading. GPS 2, it's just another data source, so you could actually pull multiple ones. Most people do not use GPS 2, but I go ahead and change it anyway, just in case, any data overlay or whatever info. So GPS 1, you can see when it populates, it's gonna say auto configure on. So all of them are gonna be set that way. We're gonna turn that off. And then you're actually gonna set the um, external antenna, the NEMA 0183. It's actually, it's gonna be really hard to see, but down there, there's actually another cable that you need to connect this into a Solix on a Helix series. This will plug directly in. So a Solix, you will need an adapter cable. But that's gonna be the um, external GPS antenna, NEMA 0183. We're gonna select that. And then we're just gonna back out. GPS two, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Auto configure off. And we're gonna go external. And it's a remote ID. If it was plugged in, it would say this unit. I'm almost done with this boat. Time's up. Time's up. I'm trying. You're slowing well, me down. Okay, okay, okay. Let me finish this one little video. All right, so. Sorry about that. Biggie's helping me in the shop. All right, so we're going to go external antenna here. Over here, instead of it saying... Um, remote unit for the source. It'll actually say this unit, external antenna. So I've already set that up over here. Again, back out one last thing, heading as well. Auto configure off. And we're gonna use remote unit because the antenna is set up over here. We're gonna select that. Now again, when you're running dual units up here on the front, I normally set up, I mean, obviously there's any way you wanna do it. So this unit's got two Solixes at the bow and two at the console, I make one unit a primary unit. So on this boat, we made this the primary unit. That means everything's networked through here, all your, your external antenna and your sonar is plugged directly in this unit. The only thing this unit has going to it is a power cable and a network cable. So in the event something went wrong and a unit went down or whatever, then let's say this unit went down, you could just literally swap this over here and run one unit full setup. So main unit up front, slave unit. Powers all the transducer, all your connections, it's the main one. Same thing at the console. You can do it right or left. I generally always, since right-handed, I generally always set up the right unit on that one since it was close to the customer. We made the left unit primary, um, right where he fished, uh, line of sight wise. But this one right here, same thing. External antenna is plugged up to it and all your transducers, that one's power and network only. Everything pulls off of it. So hope that helped. 
on the external sourcing of a GPS antenna. If you guys need anything, let us know. BassBirdElectronics.com.